Hello. We're going to talk today about something that is really hard for me, and that's controlling your mouth. It's kind of um, difficult to admit that, but you know what? The only way you get over something and get better at something is if you admit it and try to study what does God say about your mouth. And I found a couple of verses that I want to share with you. The first one is Proverbs 18, uh, 20, Proverbs 18, uh, 20, and 21. So I'm going to read it to you. Let's see. It says, words satisfy the soul as food satisfies the stomach. Those who love to talk will experience the consequences for the tongue can kill or nourish life. So the things that you say really do affect your life. And that's from Proverbs 18, 20, and 21. Uh, I also want to go to Ephesians 4, 29. Um, it's this one important. Don't, in the Bible, it says, in Ephesians 4, don't use foul or abusive language, period. Let everything you say be good and helpful so that your words will be an encouragement to those who hear them. Now, first of all, I'm going to admit that when I'm in my car, I say the worst things. I just have to work so hard not to. And what I, I'm at a point now where I'll say something and then I'll say, that was not a nice thing to say. I apologize. And, you know, I'm the only one in the car. I'm not like rolling down the window and yelling at people. But like if somebody cuts me off, I'm like, I call them a name. I know that's wrong. I got to stop it. Oh, dear. So as soon as I do, as soon as it comes out, I say, oh, Father, Holy Father, I'm sorry. Help me to be a better person. Please help me to control my tongue. I see it mostly in the car, to be honest with you. Um, but I do know that I've studied enough in the Bible to know that there's a lot in there about the way that we speak to one another and the things that we say. The Lord is really concerned about how we speak what we say, because he knows, as we should know, that it affects our mind. The way that we talk affects the way that we act, what we put in our mind, with, you know, because whenever you speak, you're hearing something and it's it's affecting the way that you're thinking. But also, too, if you're now for me, I'm in the car saying bad things. Nobody hears me except me. But. You know, like if you're out in a store and the clerk does something wrong or whatever, somebody hears you, they're going to judge you from what they hear. So like, let's say you have a Jesus sticker on your car and you go in the store and you act like an animal and then you get in that car and drive away, somebody's going to sit in their car and go, did you see that woman, what she said in that store? And then she gets in a car with a Jesus sticker on it. You know, it's uh, wrong. I think we kind of have to be humble and let things go. And um, I'm going to tell you something on the flip side of that, too. I went to the store um, recently, and they had... The self checkout. It was at the, it was at um, the Five Below store, and I bought some things. And I bought three little magnets, and the the bars code was kind of folded on it. And I clicked it. I I, get, I just assumed it hap it worked, you know. So I clicked it three the three different ones and paid my bill and went on my way. But when I got home, I looked at the receipt and I see that two of those things did not get charged. So I took my receipt and I took um, a little trip back to the store and I said, "Listen, I apologize. I was using this checkout which I've never used before, and I accidentally." 
didn't pay for two of the magnets. I said, apparently it didn't click, you know, like it was supposed to. And she looked at me like this. She went, so you came back here to pay? I said, yeah. And then I said, the, 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 the magnets were three, three or four dollars each. I said, yeah, I don't want to go to hell for eight dollars. And she goes, oh, my gosh, that's so funny. I said, no, that's how I feel about it. So there was an opportunity for me to minister to this young girl that I didn't have to bring those back. Nobody knew I had those and didn't pay for them except me and God. But I brought them back because it was the right thing to do. So I still got to work on my foul mouth in the car, but I'm very happy to say I'm a, a fair and honest person for the majority of my life. <laughs> but I want you to look it up yourself. Uh, Proverbs 8.8 8 is about words. Proverbs 10.11 is about the mouth. Um, Proverbs 10.19 is about your mouth. 31 and 32 is about a per perverse tongue. Um, so, if you have a problem with that too, just study a little bit, get in your Bible, see what God has to say. And uh, this is just another couple of minutes with Yvonne on a Tuesday. Have a great afternoon.